Before iOS 14 came out, I think my favorite thing about widgets was being able to quickly tap a widget and turn on the lights in my room, turn them off, go ahead, tap on some smart plugs and control things right there on my lock screen. And when they said that in iOS 14, we were getting home screen widgets, I was super pumped about being able to put those widgets right on my home screen. And then Apple dropped the fact that the widgets are not interactive, but that they're just live tiles on your home screen. So I decided to solve the problem that I had with iOS 14's widgets by making my own widget using Siri shortcuts. This widget allows me to tap a button and change the lighting in my room just by clicking on buttons. It's exactly what I wanted from the Hue widget that Hue can't exactly make themselves. But it doesn't just stop here. I'm gonna show you some really cool uses for Siri shortcuts on your home screen in iOS 14. So this first widget here called Colorful is just gonna control the lighting here in the room on the desk and it's really, really easy to program it. So I'm gonna just show you how I did it. Basically, it contacts the Hue app, sets a scene with my Hue, and that's it. Then there's an option that says show when run, and I just toggled that off. So if you wanted to make a widget just like this, all you need to do is jump into your actions and choose apps, and then you can find the app that you wanna control. In my case, that would be Hue. Then I can go ahead and choose the scene that I want to run and disable show when run, and just like that, we've programmed another scene for our device. Here's another super simple one you can add. Just type add action and type in remote. And then you see Apple TV remote. Just go ahead and tap on that and hit show remote control. Go ahead and hit next and hit uh, anything you want to title it. You can go ahead, we'll just call it remote, just like that, and hit done. Now we're gonna jump out to our home screen, hold down anywhere to get into jiggle mode, and we can go ahead and search for the shortcuts widget, choose one, and add it to the screen. We'll go ahead and add this nice big one right here. Tap on that and choose what shortcut we wanna run. We're gonna pick remote, and then we can go ahead and hit done. Now when we tap on this widget, we automatically get the Apple TV remote right on our phone. My biggest complaint with the music widget is that there's no play pause controls on them because again, you can't make them interactive, but I'm gonna show you how to do that anyway. Go ahead, hit the shortcuts app. I'm gonna go ahead and make this even better by jumping all the way out to the outer page of shortcuts and in the top adding a new folder. I'm gonna call this folder music and then I'm gonna hit done and hit add. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit add an action to this and I'm gonna go ahead and hit play. I'm gonna hit on the music application and hit play music as one of my options. So now I have a button that is gonna play music. I'm gonna go ahead and hit next and call this one play. If I wanna change the icon, it's super easy. We'll go ahead and pick an icon that looks like a play button. Go ahead and hit done and we save it. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and hit skip forward so that I can go to the next song. Pick a custom icon for that one as well. Now that I've created those icons, I can go ahead and go into shortcuts and add a new shortcut. So I'm gonna go ahead and add this widget right here, and then I'm gonna tap on this widget and choose the music category. And then I have the option to go forwards backwards, or just simply start playing some music. So when I tap this button, there we go, music starts playing. So as you can see, it started playing some songs from the Polar Express, 
just by tapping a button on my home screen. So hopefully this gives you some ideas of what you can set up on your home screen and give you some new options for your widgets because a lot of these things are things people have been wanting, like the ability to go forwards and backwards on songs or change the lighting in their room with just the tap of a button. Perhaps bring up media controls and things like that. So it's an extra step and it's something that Apple allows you to control things with on their widgets, but third-party developers just can't take advantage of it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and you make some super awesome widgets. If you come up with something really cool in the Shortcuts app, some great widgets that you are using on your home screen, go ahead and drop some comments down below. Tell me what you guys came up with and I'll catch you real soon. Peace.